So this video is all about how I became a comic book nerd. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm BJ Kicks. I buy comic books. Sometimes I read them. I make beats too. Not all necessarily in that order. Um, but if you're new around here, I talk about comics. I review them. I unbox them. And I just share my joy with you uh, on the internet. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're not missing any time I post. Um, so today I want to do a little bit of a story time. Um, the channel's still new. And so I feel like we need these moments. Let's get to know each other. Uh, so I want to talk to you guys about how I became a comic book nerd. And um, man, these these arms, man, because I had to get bigger sleeves. But um, I want to talk about how I became how I got into comics, um, because this is a relatively new hobby for me. I've been I've been collecting comics or, you know, buying them weekly for about a year and a half now. Um, and so we're going to talk about that. Um, but. Let's, first, I guess we'll talk about my first exposure to comics. So I'm from North Carolina, grew up here, um, born, actually not born in North Carolina, but raised here. Um, but growing up, my grandmother lived in New York. And so that's where I spent all of my summers. Um, and a, a few summers in particular, my uncle was actually staying there and he had a friend who would come to my grandmother's house. And now for the summer, grandma's house is the spot. So it's me all of my cousins, right? So there's my two older male cousins. We've got girl cousins, whatever. But the boys, we were um, into comic books. And the reason why, because my uncle's friend would bring bags and bags, like Rite Aid bags full of comic books. Now, this is the mid-90s. It's like during the comic book heyday, right before the crash and such. Um and so comics were everywhere, especially in New York City. So uh, looking back, now that I know some of the history of the industry, I'm not surprised that we were into comic books because they could be found everywhere. And we didn't even have to go anywhere to get them. They would just show up at the house. And so we all had our favorite characters because of the cartoons and stuff. My favorite was always Batman. Um, a close second was Spider-Man and then the X-Men. Um, so those were my favorites growing up. And those are the comics that we would all fight over. Nobody wanted Superman. Nobody wanted Green Lantern. But, you know, we would get bags of everything. There would be all sorts of characters you've never heard of because everyone seemed to have an ongoing series in the 90s. Um, but anyway, we'd get these bags that would show up at the door of comics and we'd fight over the ones we wanted. And the reason I loved comics was because of the artwork. Um, at the time, all I ever did was draw pictures on any piece of paper I could find. So I would take the comics I wanted, find the coolest splash page, and try to draw it on a piece of computer paper. And that, that was my exposure to comic books. I couldn't tell you any story that I actually read, but I loved the art and I still do. Um, so fast forward about 25 years. So, uh, 2019, my daughter, I have a 10 year old daughter and she is very much into art in the same way that I was when I was her age. And so, you know, I wanted to foster that in her. I wanted to develop that talent, give her the opportunity if that's something she wanted to pursue further. So I just happened to be on Facebook one day and I'm scrolling and I get an ad for a free comic book day event going on at a local shop in my hometown. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, and it just happened to be on Star Wars Day. So it was May the 4th. So there were a couple of things that happened this day. There was It was free comic book day and it was Star Wars Day. So we went to a minor league baseball game where the team wore Yoda jerseys. It was a great day. So my, my idea was, all right, this is going to be the ultimate daddy-daughter day. We're just going to have fun all day. So we started off with the free comic book day. And the line was crazy. We got there early enough. And, you know, you get the free comics. And they also had like a section opened up in a different um, storefront full of dollar comics. And so we went in. My daughter got some stuff. I got some stuff. I got some stuff I thought she'd be interested in. And I don't know. Something was just like, wow, oh, this is fun. I might come back here. And um, and she was very much into it. So we got to meet like an artist who was commissioning uh, sketches on sketch covers. It was all, all all sorts of things happened in that trip on Free Comic Book Day 2019. 
So fast forward a couple of weeks, I'm still following the store's Facebook page and I see they're having a live sale. So basically they're on Facebook live auctioning off or, or selling comic books. They're not really auctions buy it now. But anyway, so I'm watching the Facebook live stream and they're like, hey, share share this stream for a chance to win a free comic book. And so I did. I shared the stream to win some exclusive comics and I won. I won these two comics right here. So this is the House of X number one uh, hidden gem variant by Dave Cockrum. Uh, so I won this and the other prize was the Marvel's epilogue. I believe this is a one in one in 200 cover uh, penciled by Alex Ross um, depicting what I now know. I believe this is the Phoenix. Uh, I don't know, actually. So, but yeah, so I won these comics. Had no idea what the value was or anything. Um, I think this one's going for like 60 right now. and I don't even know what this one's going for. Um, I should get these graded, but I'm never going to sell them because these were my, basically my first comic books as an adult. But anyway, so I got these books and I planned on like never reading them. Um, but I just kept hearing all these things about House of X. Everybody was so excited about House of X. So I actually did read this issue and I was like, oh man. That was really good. And so I was like, I have to go to the back to the store. So I'll go back to the store and I'm like, hey, where's number two or whatever? And I find out that House of X is like a, a mini series that go coincides with another mini series called Powers of X or Powers of Ten. So anyway, it's a weekly event. And so every week you go to the comic book shop and there's either a new issue of House or a new issue of Powers. So I learned about pull list. They said I could subscribe. And so I subscribed and added house and powers to my pull list. And, and that was that. I started going to the comic shop every week. Um, house of X and powers of 10 was just really dope. They had these cool connecting covers. So this is um, the connecting cover for issue four. Issues four of house and powers. So they just had like really, really the artwork was great. The story was great. It rebooted the X-Men. It was easily accessible. Um, I didn't have to know anything else about the X-Men except that they existed. And this just added new layers to the X-Men that I hadn't seen in animated stuff before. And I, I wasn't familiar with their comic work anyway. Um, but yeah, so House of X and Powers of Ten wrap up. And that leads you into the dawn of X. And there's like all these different X titles that come out. And I'm like, yeah, I got to get this. Now, I told you guys, I'm a big Batman fan. So as soon as I got a pull list, I started collecting Batman as well. And that was right at the beginning of the City of Bane uh, storyline by Tom King. I got to admit, I was not feeling the City of Bane. But I'm never going to go to the comic shop and not buy the latest issue of Batman or Detective Comics. So I got those and somehow my pull list just kept growing. I added Spider-Man and Superman and all these other X titles, Marauders and X-Force and all these different things. And um, I really just enjoy the thumbing through the artwork, um, you know, working a nine to five you go, you have your lunch break or whatever. And I was, I'm working in a, I was working in a call center and, um, you know, this, a comic book, you know, you can read while you're doing something else or whatever. It's so much easier or it feels better than sitting in front of a TV and just like watching it all day long or watching YouTube. I don't feel productive if I do that for too long, but I can sit and read a stack of comic books while I do something else. And I still have my free time. And so that's the cool part about it. Um, beyond the artwork um there's just a lot to love about comic books and this drew me in so between the experiences at my lcs uh shout out to ultimate comics raleigh the staff there is amazing we've got our own little community there there's people that i see every week when i go to pick up my books and then they've got the live show we've got a facebook group so there's just so much community and i love that aspect i love seeing what other people buy i love showing other people what i get and we kind of share our tastes with each other so that's part of it right so that's my single issue craze um and then i started learning about different 
types of comics, different um, ways that they're collected. So started getting trades to catch up on older stories that everybody was recommending to me. And then I found out about deluxe hardcovers and omnibus collections and all these things um, that people kind of use to immortalize their comics and display. So, I mean, as you can see, I've got a, a fairly sizable shelf, not a sizable shelf, but the shelf is maxed out. So, yeah, that part's crazy. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I just my goal when I decided, OK, I really like comic books. This is really dope. It was to, I want to make sure I read all the stories that people are saying are the best stories. I want to know all the seminal moments of these characters. I, I got to know what's going on. And so my shop has these live shows every week. So I get to buy cool stories. Then I've got my weekly uh, pull box and then I find cheap things on eBay or Amazon or Craigslist or wherever. So that's how I get my comics fixed. And that's how I got in to comics. And um, I just thought I'd share that with you. But I want to know how you guys got into comics. So please, was your story like mine? Were you into comics from a kid? Did you like never stop? Or did you rediscover comics somehow? And how did, how would, how did it go? What was your, your favorite part about that? So I want to know how you guys feel. I want to know what your experiences were. I want to get to know you guys. Um, so sound off in the comments below. And um, I'm going to read those and maybe we'll even talk about it in another video. Um, but until then, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel to grow. And I'm a very new channel, so I need all the help I can get with that growth. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And again, hit that bell icon so that when I do post new videos, you're notified that they're available. Um, until the next time, be safe, be well, and um, stay comic booky. Peace.